2021 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 Ford Mustang Expert Review As one of America's best-known sports cars, the Ford Mustang brings power to the people. From its introduction in 1964, the Mustang has provided RWD thrills and available V8 muscle at relatively affordable prices. When the current generation arrived in 2015, an independent rear suspension allowed it to become more refined and capable. As always, it's available as a coupe or convertible, with high-performance Shelby variants at the top of the lineup. The Mustang GT Coupe is a 2021 IntelliChoice Best Overall Value winner. Recently the Mustang title was controversially applied to Ford's first electric performance vehicle, the Mustang Mach-E. Even so, the excellent engine choices counter those gripes to a certain extent. Even the entry-level Turbo 4, once an unthinkable layout for a pony car, delivers excitement with its rev-happy attitude. In a comparison against the Toyota Supra 2.0, the EcoBoost song's charm and settled suspension gave it the win. The naturally aspirated V8, an increasingly rare engine format, has gobs of power and a vicious roar. Then there's the GT500's incredible supercharged V8, which transforms the humble Mustang into a legitimate supercar. It even managed a second-place finish at 2020 Best Driver's Car. The Mustang carries on the legacy of its iconic forebears. Even though the terrific GT350 appears to be gone for 2021, the recently introduced Mach 1 is a confident, capable handler with one of the best manual transmissions on the market. Our road test editor Chris Walton called driving the Mach 1 a very racy experience with loads of grip, predictable brakes, sweet turn-in, and a limited slip differential that works wonders in putting the power down. However, when compared against the field in our 2022 Performance Vehicle of the Year competition, we could only deem the Mach 1 as good, not great. Performance Chevron All Mustangs are RWD and, barring the GT500, fitted with a 6-speed manual or 10-speed automatic transmission. The entry-level engine is a 2.3-liter turbo 4, which makes 310 horsepower in EcoBoost spec or 330 horsepower with the high-performance package, both make 350 pounds to foot of torque. In motor trend testing, a manual transmission Mustang EcoBoost accelerated from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.3 seconds, while one with the automatic did the same in 5.3 seconds. With the high performance package, the car should sprint to 60 in under 5.0 seconds, Ford says. The Coyote 5.0 liter V8 produces 460 horsepower in standard GT form, or 480 horsepower in the Bullet and Mach 1. Torque is 420 pounds to foot in all. We tested an automatic Mustang GT convertible's 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration at 4.2 seconds, and a manual equipped bullets at 4.6 seconds. Testing a manual Mustang Mach 1, we reached 60 in 4.2 seconds. That Mach 1 was at least as impressive under braking, stopping from 60 miles per hour in just 96 feet, a very short distance. The GT500 gets a model specific <laughs>